Japan. Uh, crazy. It's it's paradise wrapped in concrete. Very animated fans, and um, probably one of the best experiences in my life. Japan. Mm. Marvelous. Oh, Japan was really, really funny. It happened really, really quick. Uh, it was really cool. It was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Best time of our lives, by far. It, it actually feels like a dream for me. It's like it kind of I, I, I went to, went to bed and I and I went to Japan in one of my dreams and I came back and I woke up. Skal vi til først så skal vi sjekke inn. Sjekke inn bagger. Mange bagger. Han var litt, han var litt flam, så han stikker hodet i sanden. Vi skal til det Tokyo. Japan! We're going to Tokyo. We're going to be big in Japan. Big in Japan! Oh, we're big in Japan! We know we have a good fan base down in Japan, so... And we know that uh, they are very about, uh, well, into the melodic stuff when it comes to songs. And we, of course, have heard about the Love Park Festival. We have seen videos, pictures of this great venue. They asked us, hey, want to come play? Two weeks from now, 15,000 people, let's go. I didn't really believe that we were going to play that like, big festival, like two weeks from when we got the mail. <laughs> we never played Japan before, and it was always been a dream of ours, so... When, when do we leave? <laughs> I don't think the, actually the trip felt that long because we were just like focusing on all the things that was gonna happen, you know? We were looking forward to, really, really looking forward to get there. Of course, uh, our vocalist uh, got really sick and uh, <laughs> his travel was probably a little more different than ours. <laughs> well, my health on this trip was uh, not <laughs> very well. I got infected with, um, what's it called, a food poison, yes. Salmonella, it's called. He had a high fever and uh, it was really not good for his throat, so he he was a champ, I think. It was the worst and the best flight ever. <laughs> uh, luckily for me, the toilet was right behind me. You, you can't see that he's sick on stage at all. It's uh, It was really... He was, uh, he was our uh, prime gladiator. <laughs> I remember one thing uh, particularly. Lasse told us that he was going to be a father. And that was a uh, very, very nice, good surprise. Venue, the Saitama Super Arena. Arena. That was. I was in. Uh, what do you call it? I was in awe. I was in, in shock. It was like, yeah. Uh, it's it's too big for me. Uh, we saw the size of the uh, the stage and uh, how everything was, you know, produced and all the cameras and everything. We're like, wow, this is gonna be great. It was it was like going into uh, I don't know an ant hill. Got in there and looks like it must have been a thousand people with helmets on walking around working. Well, I thought of one thing actually. I thought of uh, <laughs> the glory of the empire when we were entering the arena and stuff because it was so huge. <laughs> Det 
Stuttgart. Det er helt vilt. Og en million mennesker som løper rundt, og alle har en oppgave, og alle skal hjelpe. Det er en drøm. Se. Dette blir helt storveis. Alt er som man ber om. Sånn er det. Jeg vil ha det. Vær så god, det får du. Det er så jævla deilig. Ja, the rigging in Japan is pretty special. Uh, it's done when you get there. I had, I think, three or four people standing around me uh, who were in charge of the, the drum area. The service is really good. It's like everything is, you know, the Japanese people are very, you know, in time, on time, and uh, to the point. And I really, really like that. I forgot to take my trollers. Jeg ligger på lokale Essensjøveien. <laughs> og så glemte jeg eh, regnet meg på hotellet. Og en kabel. But that was no problem. I just told the, the crew that I forgot it, and they took it in like one minute, and I had two wireless systems for like both guitars. Problem solved. I only brought the the Axe FX, and I had a pedal board that controlled it, and uh, that's it. Inner monitoring and the uh, Axe FX uh, straight to the front of house, it was really easy. And the sound guy said that you had the best guitar sound holy, uh, uh, through the whole evening. Better than Slayer, with all those marshals behind them. Just a mess, you know. <laughs> all good. I bare lyd og alt er all good, ass. Gitarre er i tun, og det blir bra, ass. Best soundtrack I've ever had, best sound on stage I've ever had. So, I can't complain. Sykeste konsertsted jeg har sett, i hvert fall. Og vi har spilt på Ever, helt Circus Maximus. Her er det stappa fullt etterpå. Forhåpentligvis som vi går på. Har du god feeling på at det er det, utenfra andre band som har vært der før tidlig. Så... Ja, dette blir sykt. Her ser du jo hvor jeg skal stå. Her, og så har jeg en egen sånn spyttegrav, eller om kalder vi den, kastet inget i. Before getting to Japan and going to this uh, amazing festival, so, you know, we can only use our imagination to think how, we, how is this going to end up? You know, is this going to be a good show or are people going to like us? Um, the floor almost like started shaking. Before you're on stage, you're... It's... Crazy. I looked out and saw see 15,000 crazy Japanese people just chanting along. They were kick on the sea. I think I got a little uh, moment there where I almost shed a little tear because it was strange to feel that uh, the intro that was playing 
I rolled in, in the bedroom at home in Oslo. It was strange to hear it on a big venue like that. So uh, yeah, I think I like, got a real a kind of emotional. It was really amazing.
I've seen ain't easy being me. Don't ask me where I'm going, who I'm with, or what to do. No blind third degree interrogation is pulling me down. Don't need a rainy day. I can hear the people screaming. Everybody call me. The set list we did uh, in uh, in uh, at Loud Park was well. We had 45, 40 minutes to play. Obviously, we had to start with something from the newest album, from from nine. I guess we couldn't play any of the you know longer songs, so we had to keep it kind of short and to the point. We we needed power, 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 power. We were supposed to play with a lot of heavy heavy bands like In Flames and Slayer and stuff. So we put up a set list that really would kick their ass. We could see it on the on the audience uh, when we did Arrival of Love, for instance. That was a crazy, that was like a kick-ass uh, feedback from the crowd. I still remember it, it's great. Tokyo! Thank you so much. Finally, Circus Maximus is in town. Are you guys ready for some love? I said, are you ready for some love? Well, here's a rival of love.
it all went so fast since we came there on Friday, I believe, and we played a show on Saturday and we went home on Sunday. And we, we were there only, for, you know, for a, for a weekend. We had a couple hours from after the production meeting, uh, the day before the show, um, and uh, we were walking around thinking about, ah, oh, we're in Japan, we need to go like some j traditional Japanese place, you know, eat some sushi and stuff, because I like sushi. But not everybody in the band loved fish for some reason. So we ended up in an American Hooters bar. They wanted us to like write on their wall or something like this and take pictures and that would be so nice. <laughs> what happened in Japan stays in Japan. Uh, and then we got to see some of the arcade the joints there and that was really something. I saw a guy playing some video game in an arcade we went to the day before the show. And I don't know, it's, uh, he should be on the world team in video gaming or something like this, because that was just insane. It is just like, we get the same feeling that uh, Bill, Bill Murray gets in Lost in Translation, the movie. It's like that, because it's, everything is going too quick and you have to like, be alert all the time, or then you're lost. Thank you! You guys are amazing! And it's still before lunchtime, so this is great. <laughs> we are gonna do a song from the Isolate album. And we are gonna watch our drama. So it's how good. He's gonna take it away from us! Are you ready?
church? Are you doing all right? So do we here on stage. This is a dream come true. Seeing all of you here at Loud Park Festival. I have a question. Do you feel alive?
The signing session was uh, was great, you know. Um, finally, getting the chance to meet our Japanese fans for the first time, face to face. So many fans showed up to get like posters, CDs, all that kind of stuff signed. It's very cool to be able to actually get up close and personal with our fans over there because we've never been there before, and uh, yeah, they're amazing. They are all really nice to you. They're grateful for you being there. And they're, they, have, they have lots of information about you. They've read everything. They know everything you've done. It's like you know them. It's really, really nice. It was really nice to meet, meet them. They were really uh, warm. <laughs> you know, it's amazing to, to come to another country and, and, and people really appreciate that you're there. So are you still having a good time? We're gonna do a song from my latest album called Mine. My favorite song, Game of Life.
know what to do in the life that was you. Circus Maximus is in Tokyo and hopefully we'll come back very soon, okay? Yes? We hope so too. I'm gonna play one more song for you from the latest album. It's called Last Goodbye. A beautiful song which I hope you will enjoy. Thank you, Tokyo! You've been great! <laughs>